Hi, I'm Angie Sabota. I'll be showing you how to use the Wacom tablet. I'm using the Bamboo Fun medium size white tablet. I'm using it in Photoshop Element 7. And I'm going to be showing you how to use this tablet to add brush strokes to your layouts and step by step how to use the tablet. And in my tutorial, all of the mouse movements that you'll see on screen are going to be done using this tablet as I move the tablet around on the screen. It's very easy to do and it gives you a great tool to use to enhance your digital layouts. So enjoy the tutorial. I hope you learned something new. I'm going to use the Wacom Pen Tablet and Pen to show you how to use a brush on my fall layout that I have on the screen. It's very easy to do with the Pen Tablet using the Wacom Tablet, and I have a medium-sized tablet. Now, what I, first of all I'm going to do is set the colors in my color picker tool. I selected a brown that matched the colors in my picture. I also selected a green that matched some of the colors in my pictures. And the reason I set these two colors is what with my pen tool, I can, as I brush, the colors, I can set the hue jitter to switch between the two colors. So that's why I went ahead and set that. Now I've opened up a new blank layer in my layers palette that I'm going to brush on. So this is the blank layer above all my type, my text, my pictures, etc. I'm going to go to my brush in the tools, select that. I'm going to open up the brush palette. I'm going to click on the fly out layer or fly out arrow and I'm going to load brushes. And I have a flower brush I'm going to load. I click on it and hit load. And as you can see now I have my my brushes loaded. I'm going to go ahead and select one of the flowers and then I can close this. Now I want to change how this flower is going to paint on my layout. So I'm going to go into the tools option, change my fade to around 2000 or so. I'm going to change the hue jitter to close to around 70. And this is the color here that switches between the brown and the green that I set in my color palette. My scatter I'm going to change to around 9. And the scatter sort of changes the way it flows as I brush on the layout. My spacing, I'm going to put it around 100, 100 to 200. That just spaces the flowers so they don't overlap. Now I, that that's set, I could close that box. And as you can see, my flower is very big. I can easily resize that here. To, you have to sort of guess where you want to be on that. That's about where I want to be, maybe a little bit smaller. There. Now, as I brush, you'll see it should change from color to brown to green, and I'm just going to flow it along. As you can see, it just added some nice little flowers, and if you get in close, you can see that these flowers are changing between green and brown in color. It's very easy to use the pen. You just draw along the tablet. Very easy to add a few extra flourishes or flowers or brush strokes to your layouts. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.